If you are a beginner in GTA Online, you probably will be terrified by the prices. Everything is so expensive, you need millions and millions of dollars to afford at least something, and rewards for completing missions are just pathetic. It's like you will need to complete this mission more than 100 times to afford a decent car. And you almost feel like you want to buy shark cards to make things easier, right? Wrong! There is no need to buy shark cards, because now you watch an extremely easy step-by-step -step guide on how to become rich in GTA Online and do it pretty fast. And it's designed specifically for beginners, so even if you don't know how to shoot in GTA Online, how to fly a helicopter or how to drive a car without crushing it every few seconds, you will still have no problems with earning a lot of money in a very short terms. Like I did, and by the way, without any glitches or bugs, it's 100% legit. Anyway, let's waste no more time and begin. First thing that you need to know that currently there is a money-making method in GTA Online that crushes all other methods. It's super easy, it can be done solo and it gives you huge profits, I'm talking about Cayo Perico Heist. And also it's fun, it doesn't feel so like grinding even if you will do it multiple times, and you will do it multiple times once you will see the profits. Anyway, as a beginner you want to get to Cayo Perico as soon as possible. To do that you will need to buy Kosatka Submarine. It costs 2.2 millions and it seems like an insane amount of money for a new player, but you will be able to buy it in only a few hours. And by the way, after you will buy it, you you will never again have any problems with money in GTA Online. So now once the goal is clear, let's move to the first step. You can earn 500,000 before even opening GTA Online for the first time. All you need to do is log in into your social club account, go to settings and set up two-step verification. It will not only additionally protect your account, but also will grant you half a million in GTA Online and 10 gold bars in Red Dead Online. You will receive your reward in 72 hours and it still works in 2021 I checked it and received my half a million. But you can get even more money right away. I checked on all the platforms and it seems like the cheapest edition of GTA 5 that you can buy is a premium edition, which includes Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. And there are not only properties and cars that you can get for free inside of this pack, there are also 1 million dollars. I received this bonus pretty fast on all my accounts in a few days, but Rockstar are warning us that it might take longer longer, up to 10 days. Anyway, for now we will be counting this million, but if you will not get lucky and will not receive this bonus pretty fast and don't want to wait, or maybe you will not receive this criminal enterprise pack for some other reasons, don't worry, you still will be able to buy Kasatka, it just will take a little longer, we will talk about this later. Oh, one more thing, if you are a PlayStation Plus member, you can additionally take 1 million GTA Online dollars every month until March 2022. Just don't forget to claim it in a PlayStation Store. Anyway, now you can count on 1.5 million dollars, so it's only 700 thousand left. But it's still a lot of money for a new player. Luckily, there are a few missions that will help us to earn even more in a few hours. But first I need to warn you, you might have seen some outdated advices on how to earn money in GTA Online, which will be saying that you need to buy business, to buy bunker, to buy nightclub. Please avoid such advices, you don't need any business here. Kasatka will be your business, best business. Later, if you will have such desire, you might buy bunker, nightclub and all this stuff. Not because they are more profitable than Kaya Parika, no, they are not even close, but because it's just something new. Some other way of earning money, but now don't spend anything on these businesses, don't even take them for free. And yes, you can take bunker for free, for example, as a part of a criminal enterprise starter pack. But you know what? It's a trap! Yeah, it's in a terrible place, it will take a lot of time to earn some good money without spending money on improvements for the bunker. Additionally, you will need to pay some amount of money to maintain your business every in-game day. Anyway, it will just slow you down, and slow you down significantly, so let's move to the real second step. Okay, after creating a good looking character... Just kidding, it's probably not gonna happen, I mean, that's my take on creating a Rasputin in GTA Online, and it looks just terrible, but not kinda terrible in a way that Rasputin should look, you know. Anyway, after creating a character, you will have to decide whether you want to complete the tutorial or skip it. It's up to you, if you want to practice some basic mechanics, just complete it, but you will be absolutely fine if you will skip it, and will save some time. Anyway, after skipping tutorial, you will appear on the map with 10,000 bucks. First 
things that you want to do if you have criminal enterprise park is to claim some free vehicles. Also you will need a garage to store these cars but it's also free so just open your phone, go to internet, check dynasty 8 and just claim this free garage. You can store up to 10 cars there. And now just go to travel and transport and claim your free vehicles. By the way I strongly suggest you to check Warstock cash and carry category and claim your free duke of death because it's an armored vehicle and it will help you in some missions. If you don't have criminal enterprise pack for some reason don't worry you will do absolutely fine with the default car. And there are some free cars for you as well the only problem is that you don't have a garage and you will need to spend at least 25,000 to store your cars and have a mechanic. Quick tip, to request your vehicle at any time just open interaction menu, go to vehicles category and choose request personal vehicle. Your car will appear pretty soon and it will be on the road close to you. Also if you want to use a different car just call your mechanic, but if you are standing close to your current personal vehicle you will need to return it to storage first. Anyway now we are ready to start the grind, but first you might want Want to visit casino. Look for this diamond icon on the map because it's a diamond casino. Just go there and after pretty long and unskippable cutscene you will be able to make your shot at the lucky wheel in which you might win a free vehicle or some money which is even more important for us. You will need to buy standard membership for $500 to do that but don't worry you will receive $5000 in chips that you will be able to trade for a money at the cashier and also don't forget about the wizard our bonus, it's another 1000. And now let's go and make some real money. There are three chains of missions that we will be focusing on. They all are not complicated and can be easily done by beginners and each will pay you at least $250,000. By the way I suggest you to complete these missions in a solo session to avoid problems with griefers. In single player just open menu, go to online, play GTA online and choose invite only session. And no one will interfere your grind. First chain is bounty hunter hunter missions. You will receive an email from mod and after reading this email you will see an area on the map where you should look for this bounty target. Just go there and find the target. You will hear this sound when it will be close. After that just kick the bounty target in the face few times and it will follow you to the destination. If you will do it you will receive $10,000 but you might just want to kill bounty target and you will receive $5,000 in this case. But maybe it will save you some time. Especially with the last two bounty targets because they fight back, but on the other hand you can shoot them in the leg and caught them alive this way. Anyway, there are 5 such missions, so we might earn $50,000, but most importantly after completing them all we will see a hidden chest location on a map. In this chest we will find a stone hatchet, and there is a challenge, make 25 kills with this weapon and receive $250,000. I will tell you the easiest way to complete this challenge later, because now we need to talk about other 2 missions, since it will be much faster if we will be completing all these free missions at the same time and especially the final challenges for all these missions. So in the next mission we will be finding and killing maniac Los Santos Smasher. To do that we will have to search for 5 clues. There is a website on which all the clue locations are shown, you can just open it on your phone, link will be in the description. First 4 clues are always at the same places and you will find them easily, but there are 5 different possible locations for the last clue, so it might take a little longer to find this when. Anyway, once we're gonna find it we will receive a message from the slasher himself. After reading this message we will need to go to Blaine country, northern part of the map, get off the car and wait for the maniac to arrive. He only spawns at night time from 7 pm to 5 am. By the way some people say that he will only spawn if you are far from the road, but no he attacked me while I was on a highway. Anyway just get on the top of your car and shoot him. You will receive $5000 for each clue so $25,000 total, additional $50,000 for killing the maniac and also you will receive a navy revolver and again there is a challenge. Make 50 kills with this weapon to receive $200,000, so totally we will earn $275,000 on this mission. But there is one more mission, again we will receive an email from Wanderlinde this time and if you've played Red Dead Redemption 2 you are familiar with this family. There will be a picture in this letter, you will need to go to this location and again listen to the sound until you will find a note. The letter that will tell you to check another free locations. Again they will be marked with the yellow mark signs on the map. After you will visit all these places and collect free clues, chest location will appear 
your own team up. You will find double action revolver in this chest and again there is a challenge. Make 50 headshots with double action revolver to receive 250,000. And I suggest you to do all these three weapon challenges at once, you will save a lot of time this way. And the easiest way to complete all three challenges together is open menu, go to online, pick jobs, play job, rockstar created and choose missions. There you will need to find a mission called peer pressure. Choose to start this mission alone, go to peer and kill anyone you see with a stone hatchet, navy revolver or double action revolver until you will complete all the challenges and receive all the money. There will be no police so it's gonna be super easy but one thing, you would rather start this mission in a daytime because there will be more NPCs. When you will finish also complete this peer pressure mission to receive like additional 15,000. Anyway, for completing these three missions and challenges we receive 825,000 dollars plus 1.5 millions for criminal enterprise and for double step verification and boom we already have more than we need to buy Kasatka. So we even can spend some money on outfit or weapons. If we're talking about first weapons that you need, special carbine will be a good choice and also you would like to buy micro SMG to shoot from the car and don't forget about suppressors. Anyway, your final step is to visit nightclub close to the casino, watch pretty big and cringy cutscene, buy Kasatka, meet Pavel, complete Kaya Perik a few times and learn how to do it and that's it, you are a rich person in GG Online. But what if you haven't received 1 million from Criminal Enterprise Park for some reason? Don't worry, it still will be possible to earn enough money and buy Kasatka. Let me give you a few tips here. First of all, you need to know that each week there are double and triple payouts for certain activities in GTA Online. You can find about them from official Rockstar website. By the way, you might even get lucky and there will be a discount on a Kasatka itself. Obviously, with triple payouts there will be good money, so you might want to focus on them. There is also one mission in which you will earn 150,000 in around one hour. You will need to collect 10 stolen movie props for Mr. Richards. Again, interactive GTA Online map will help you just choose Solomon Richards movie props to find the locations you need. For each movie prop you will earn $10,000 and extra 50,000 plus this outfit when you will deliver them all. Next thing that you might try is a flight school close to airport. If you played in GTA 5 single player and you have some good flying skills you will earn some money there and pretty fast. But if you are a complete beginner don't expect to earn that much but at least you will practice with flying vehicles and also will get some money for that too. You also might wanna try completing VIP missions. To do that open interaction menu, go to secure serve and choose register as VIP. You need 50,000 to do this but it's not like you paying 50,000, you just need to have it on your account. Anyway, then you can choose VIP walk and there will be some missions available. I suggest you to focus on Sightseer or Bounty Hunter. Sightseer is a pretty easy one and it's almost a guaranteed 25,000 and so you will be earning around 100,000 per hour from these missions. It's not much but it's a good for a new player. In any way I suggest you to combine these different money making methods just not to get bored from the grind. And that's it, I've told you about a pretty fast and easy way of becoming rich in GTA Online. This method is walking in 2021, I've tested it myself few times, it's super easy and legit. I hope this guide will help you to have an easy start in GTA Online and also that you enjoyed this video. In any way, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, до свидания.